Let's go with the crowd. I don't want to be rude or anything, but is it possible that you and I dated in the past? No way, I'm talking to him. <laughs> a little something about myself before we get started. I'm a, I'm a dad, a father of 20 year old twins, and an 18 year old son. And if you're the type of person that doesn't believe that God listens to and answers your prayers, let me tell you, those two girls are living proof that he does. But you've got to be specific. I remember the night I prayed for twins. <laughs> I was in Las Vegas in a strip club. <laughs> I'm also a member of the uh, neighborhood crime watch. A while back, a couple of the neighborhood crime watches decided to get together and take a bus tour of the local jail. I met thieves, whores, philanders, racists. Then I got on the bus to take the tour. <laughs> Did you see in the newspaper, they had a, uh, an article, uh, they're looking for volunteers to go on a one-way trip to Mars. One-way trip, we're not coming back. Over 200,000 people applied. How miserable is your life on this planet <laughs> to apply for a one-way trip to Mars? I filled out three applications. <laughs> one for my cranky neighbor, one for my wife, one for my boss. <laughs> Did you know, in Florida, a real estate agent, by law, has to disclose, has to disclose if somebody has died on the property. And over here is your oversized pool. That's a self salt chlorine generating system. And when they put that jacuzzi in, that was top of the line. Oh, I like that. And here's the three-car garage. And uh, there's where the husband hung himself on a rafter. And the dual car garage door openers, those are not chain driven, those are gear driven uh, openers. What was that about the rafter? It's all natural cedar to last a lifetime. No, about the, about the hanging. All the wall clips convey. You can hang a shovel, all those clips, you can hang a rake, you can hang a, a broom, whatever. No, about about the guy hanging. Yeah, the owner did all the work himself on the, uh, on the addition. He hung all the drywall, it was all done. <laughs> hey, who wants to the driveway? Is that all this? <laughs> so I've done a little bit of dating. I've been married twice and divorced twice. And uh, doing a little bit of online dating. And you've got to be a uh, detective to determine exactly what people are saying on their, on their personal profiles. As an example, Light smoker, three packs a day. <laughs> Social drinker, seldom sober. Enjoys P90X, CrossFit training in Zumba. Has all the DVDs, likes to watch them on the couch, eating ice cream. <laughs> and profile pictures, you gotta be fair. I was uh, waiting for my match.com date at a restaurant and a woman I never would recognize sat at the table across from me. Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta be fair, it's almost like when you're gonna sell a car on eBay, you can't post a picture of what it looked like before you drove it for 100,000 miles. <laughs> and why is it that women want to tell me how to drive? Got a GPS, you think it'd be settled. I remember one first, last date I had with a gal, she wouldn't stop telling me how to drive. I said, Darlene, I've got a GPS, please sit back, relax, I'll drive safely, we'll be there on time. But she couldn't, she wouldn't stop telling me which lane I should be in and which route I should be taking. And every time I looked at her, all I could think was about her ex-husband. Out there driving the lane he wants to drive, <laughs> taking the route he wants to take. And as soon as I dropped her off, I'd be doing the same. <laughs> I'm taking Chinese Viagra. <laughs> American Viagra is $25 a pill. Everybody better be on the same page before I pop that duty. <laughs> Canadian Viagra is $15. Chinese is about $75. It works great. The problem is you only get a too much boner. He's laughing hard at that Speaking of anal sex, <laughs> why 
would you want to park your special car in a rough neighborhood? <laughs> you know you don't belong there, and they probably don't want you there either. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of unbelievably good parking right around the corner. <laughs> You can go in and out of that spot as many times as you like. <laughs> or until you get married. <laughs> then there's a self-parking lot conveniently to located at, at the end of your right arm. <laughs> <laughs> Most women don't understand men have masturbated. They all think, oh no, not my man. He's not some monkey that came to the zoo. <laughs> Ladies, you know what the nicest thing you can say to the man you're living with is? It's not, you're the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, or you're the best man ever. No, it's, baby, I've got to go to Walmart and be gone for 45 minutes. <laughs> and I'm taking the kids. <laughs> and I'll call on the way back. And I'll haul them in the driveway. <laughs> He's been doing that since the sixth grade. And he hasn't stopped since. Oh, he slows down a little bit when your mom's in town for during the holidays. <laughs> but outside those times, it's pretty much business as usual. <laughs> and lastly, I had to have a talk to do with my son about the porno. I said, son, you're hogging the white box. <laughs> <laughs> That's my time. My name is Tom Weiss. Thank you very much. <laughs>